Well, there is a t-shirt out there on the front of which states, they said I couldn't do it, and on the back simply says, just watch me. All of those people who told Ellen Jones of Bradenton 28 years ago she couldn't compete in track after a near-death experience are now just watching her. Don Brennan has her story. As a 60-year-old track star, Ellen Jaffe Jones of Bradenton is out there trying to get better every day. And she's third in the state in the 200, 400, and 1500 meter runs. Not only that, she's fourth in the state in the 100 meter sprint. I often joke that winning my age group or placing in my age group as I have 54 times now in 5K races or longer since 2006, it's just about showing up. She returned from the National Senior Track Games a few weeks ago, but it was 28 years ago that shaped who Jones was to become, both as a runner and as a person. At the age of 28, I almost died of a colon blockage, and doctors said they had never seen a blockage so large in somebody that young, and I would need to be on medication the rest of my life, and that's really when I started making changes. After changing her eating habits to a vegan diet, others in the sport told her she would never reach great heights on that diet. They see me wearing my vegan shirts, and they say, oh, you can't run, or you can't race, or you can't be in the Olympics as a vegan. And of course, I point out Carl Lewis, who was an Olympian and who is vegan and still alive and doing quite well. And then I also say to people, does it look like I have a protein deficiency? Jones's current coach is Rayanne Darling-Reed, who also coaches Manatee High School to a very high level in track. And she is inspired by Jones's efforts. It's very inspiring. Uh, she has run a marathon and she's run the 100 meters and everything in between, which is really awesome. Most runners don't do that. In the end, Jones's best finish at Nationals was seventh place in the 1500, but the top 20 finishes in all four events are leaps and bounds above what many thought she would ever achieve in the sport. I think it's so important to understand that this is not rocket science and that you can make a huge difference in improving your health just by getting off the couch and making a few basic changes. For ABC7, I'm Don Brennan with your Suncoast Sports. The Olympic leader